right. Speaking of which, right, there is one um, video that I need to check out because there is this one um, game that has been announced, which is which people call it as another Genshin Killer. So this is the so-called um, the next um, Genshin Killer because the last Genshin Killer was um, Tower of Fantasy. And I did play that particular game um, last November and I played for a month but right after I believe it was Lin's, uh, Lin's um, gacha banner I decided to call it this because to me that game at that moment of time was not FTP friendly. There were two reasons that made me quit um, Tower of Fantasy. Number one, they have made a tons lot of cool looking um, character designs, but unfortunately, you can only um, use one character and you can only use one skin, which I didn't really like to be very honest because I would rather prefer to have a party of three or maybe a party of four. Maybe a four or five. I will. I would rather prefer it that way. But unfortunately, for Tower of Fantasy, right? You can you can only control one character and one skin, and that's pretty much it. And number two is that uh, the gacha system. The gacha system. Once you've reached the the fifty counter of, I believe it was eighty at the moment of time, right? It doesn't mean you will you are guaranteed to get the character banner, which I didn't like to be very honest. It's one way of saying right, okay. The first 80 you you fail to pull the character. It doesn't mean that in the second 80 pull you will get a character. No, it does not it does not work like how Genshin and Honkai Star Rail does. No. Once you've reached the second 80, you might fail as well. In other words, there's no guarantee of you getting that character banner, which I didn't really like to be very honest. And the worst part, right? I was playing that game from the perspective of a free to play player, and after one month of playing, right? From the way I see, right, is not FTP friendly at the moment of time. I don't know how the game it is right now, I don't give a damn. Anyhow, um, I'll be watching this um, Project Mugen gameplay review trailer and see what does this game has in store. Let's go. Am I getting Spider-Man vibes from this? Why am I getting Spider-Man vibes from that? This is very open world ish. What the hell am I looking at? Oh, I hear Koyama-san's voice. What the hell am I looking at? つまりこれで終わりってことね。まだ負けを認めるときじゃない。You 
Okay. Very open world. Okay. But in a more uh, modern um, city. Okay, I see that you're controlling different characters. Cool. This is what I wanted. Unlike. But I hope that it doesn't end up like um, Tower of Fantasy where you only control one character and one skin. If that's the case, then uh, I am. I am not gonna bother playing this. Looks interesting at the very least. Project Mugen. Pre registration starts now. Okay. Okay, so here are the characters um, Taffy, Benzi, Alan, Mechanica, Dealer. Okay. Nice um, character design, by the way. Oh, there's the one, two, three, four, five. So far, they reveal like about five characters. News and um, I just want to know what will be uh, okay. So it's confirmed that this is will be an RPG game. But my question is that will it be something like um get in terms of um characters, right? Will it be is something like Genshin or will it be a, is something like Tower of Fantasy? And so far there's no um answers yet. Because all I'm seeing are screenshots, pictures and whatnot. Yeah, this is this is definitely way more um, uh, modernized. And then we have we have um, trains. Yeah, this is the and then we get to um, ride on vehicles for the way I see it. The trailer looks good, but it's still too early for me to um, judge because to be very, very, very honest, right? I really want to see more gameplay on uh, on this. But from the way I see it, right? It's basically open world, open world, a, a more modernized, uh, a more modernized open world game, but. Here my here's my question: Will it be where you'll be controlling um, a multiple <coughs> multiple characters, just like how Genshin does, or will it be like how um, Tower of Fantasy is, where you will only control one character and you can only use one skin at a time? If it's uh, like Genshin, where you can um, you can control um, up to four characters, where you can. You can switch um, characters um, in between. Then I might jump into the bandwagon. I might. But if it's something like Tower of Fantasy, then regardless of how good the gameplay is, right, I will not jump into the Project Mugen. I'm sorry, the Project Mugen bandwagon. Because I'll be frank, I have absolutely zero interest. Um, I'm sorry. I would rather um, control multiple characters or should I say I can switch be in between characters while I'm in game rather than controlling only one character. So yeah, um, Project Mugen looks, um, looks, looks interesting but I just hope it doesn't end up being the second Tower of Fantasy.